Hey, welcome back to Papa Fix It. We're going to start part three of the uh, floating shelves. And um, I got the sander fired up. Let me show you what we got going on. Got the sander fired up. I've hit that with a 220. I hit it with an 80 and took the finish, the old finish off, took off all the glue and the tape. Trying to see if I can get some, uh, get this thing in focus. It looks pretty good. Um, our little, uh, our little uh, nut certs with the threaded inserts look pretty good. If they're high at all, I hit them with the sander. They're brass, they sand real fast. But I don't see any scratches. I've done that at uh, 180, 120, and 220, and it looks pretty good. Get a little, get a little angle on it. I'm trying to, yeah, I think it looks really good. So we're gonna move on to the bigger shelf, and I'll show you some of that. I wanted to try out my technique on this little one. Looks like we got it going on. So stay tuned, we're coming up right now with the bigger shelf. All right, so I've got my shelf clamped here down on this end so it doesn't walk around a lot. I'm gonna try to get got some glue here on the edges and some rough surface. I'm gonna start out with the 80. We're gonna take it down.
almost through most of this. The, um, the bark is leaving a little bit of a high edge, and so it's going to be hard to get down in there. But my little wood chisel is acting like a shave. Kind of speeds the process up a little bit. I can see that this colored area is where the glue is. Yes, yeah, so we got quite a bit here. Get that down. back in with that sander and get some more
it's looking pretty good. talked about these the last time that these little nuts are just sticking up I'm gonna get my little uh, die grinder out we got four of them I'm gonna go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and take all four of those down a little bit and uh, be right back So we got the little death wheel fired up okay that'll be uh that'll take that down really fast got to be kind of careful i want to gouge the wood we'll see how it goes Took care of that really fast. What's left sticking up, the sander will handle. So we're going to go back to the sander, the 80 grit. This is all on the bottom, so I'm not overly concerned with the appearance.
blue over there, because it'll stain a different color when I put the stain on. really good all right well I've got one thing I need to do before I get to staining and uh, show you what that is down here you see this hole right here these holes these holes have to be able to uh, they're getting a quarter inch rod in them. What I want to be able to do is countersink a quarter inch nut in there. So I'm going to have to drill a hole just a little bit. I don't have to go very deep, just a little bit. Deep enough, big enough around for this nut to go in so that when I have this nut on the wall holding the anchor, the shelf can slide and cover that nut. And so that nut is as big around as that log washer. So I'm gonna get me a drill out and uh, come back here and I'm gonna do this by hand and hand drill these. And so I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, well, I got my drill set up. It looks like it's a 15 32nd. That's really close to a half an inch. That looks like what it'll work. We're going to give it a go, see if we can do it without ruining this. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. Looks like it might have to be a tiny bit bigger. A little bit bigger. May end up being a half an inch. Guys. 3164. I don't know if that's <laughs> enough to make a difference. I'm off camera here, ain't I? All right. So, it'll just slide in. So that's 1564. No, that's not. That's 3164. Yep, that's what that's about it.
that's your uh, that's your depth gauge. So you back you up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. And we'll do the rest of them. That'll just go in. Perfect. it was a little bit sharper it'd be better but that's not bad Um, whoops, let me hold on there, guys. Sorry. That takes care of the sanding on that thing. Let's take a close look. Yeah, that looks really good. This is where we had some glue. I don't see any now. Had to get aggressive on that. But the joints are smooth and tight. The grain is smooth. I don't see any sanding marks. Right through here is where we had that line. I worked that over. That's gone. Looks really good. The edges look good. The backs look good. So I'm going to get cleaned up. Clean up all this dust. Get some tack cloths out. Get the uh, refinisher out. And uh, I've got this one step stain and varnish. It ought to be pretty simple. Ought to be a pretty good uh, product to use. Haven't used it myself, but I know people who have. They've been very happy with it. Uh, well, I'll just show it to you. Hang on. Restore a finish. Walnut colored. Should I'm anticipating it being semi-transparent, and it dries to a high gloss. It's got a nice finish on it. Uh, it's probably too hot to do that this morning. Uh, may set up inside, but I'm going to clean up out here where I've been working, get the dust under control, 
and when I get ready to start applying this, I'll bring you back. It's really hot out here today, guys. Really hot. Shop's way over there. It's gonna be 100 degrees today. When it gets to be that hot, man, there's only one way to fix that. Just like the cartoons, man. You can hear it. Yeah, that's the only way to get cooled off. Okay, we're recording. That was... Alright, having a little trouble with my little uh, remote control device. So, put this away because I'm not going to use it. So, we're back on... We're back on here, and uh, we are done sanding on the shelf, and um, doing a little bit of research, a little bit of testing, trial and error. I'm going to try this product. Um, it's a nice walnut stain. It might have some finishing qualities to it. I don't really know if it does or not, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to start on the back of the small shell, and that'll kind of give us a little bit of a uh, a little bit of an idea of uh, whether or not we're in the wheelhouse, right? Whether or not it's going to be where I want it to be. And uh, I'll get the camera down there in just a minute, um, kind of getting myself situated here. I have this little tack cloth that I'm going to throw up here, pull out, and what we got going on here. These tack cloths are, uh, exactly what they sound like. They're a cheesecloth with kind of a waxy, tacky uh, adhesive in them. And it will wipe the wood down with that and it'll help remove uh, dust particles from the, uh, from, the pro uh, from the shelf, from the wood. So let's get you down here looking at that. So let's... Uh... Alright, that's not working. All right, let's see here. All right, so it's kind of tacky, and so I'll show you what it looks like. You you rub the wood with it, and rub every everywhere you're gonna put stain. Give it a good little rub, and. Uh, picks up the dust right so let's go ahead and wipe the edges go ahead and I'm just gonna dab dab along this front edge where the uh, I think the sawdust got into the bark a little bit. Just kind of dabbing that, see if I can lift some of that out of there. All right. Give it, bear with me. Go ahead and wipe this big one down while we're over here.
All right, so well, you've kind of slipped there a little bit, haven't you? All right. Let's see this. See how this stuff works. sure what to expect so I'm just gonna go light and a little bit slow with it Well, let's see here. That's pretty. That's pretty. Didn't make a huge difference. Let's uh, see what happens if I put just a little bit more on there. I think we'll call it. What do you think? I like that. So, what do you say we throw this one? Throw this one on the back burner. Slide this one over here. Let me turn this around where you get a different view on this thing. So let's see how this shakes out now. We've got a little bit, a little bit more. Oh, let's see here.
Well, I guess we'll let that sit a while. That had uh, the color I was looking for. You see how the color changed so much? It just it got down in all the grain in the lighter blonde wood and it just pulled it out and popped that out. So we don't have such a stark contrast in the dark to the light wood. There we go. So look at this. See all the dark and the little specks and flecks. That's all the stain. It got down in there to do that. The end darkened up. And uh, the back edge took some color. Really nice. But look at this blonde piece that was on the end. It was so blonde, but now it's got all this color in through here right all through here has a much nicer appearance here's our little singular bathroom shelf unit it looks good but look at this thing look at it now it says, man, it's a good looking piece of wood. Yeah, that really darkened it up. I don't know if we're going to get to. Yeah, that looks pretty. I don't know if we're going to get to a shine that I'm wanting to see. But we definitely got the color that I was hoping it would take. And I threw a little color down in here. That looks a little bit better. It may, it may uh, uh, shine up a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it said wipe excess off with a with a towel and wipe it till it's dry. So maybe we'll come over here to this little guy and give it a little test. Act like we're buffing it, see if it shines or see what it does. There's not much on the rag, not much coming off, just a little bit. Get a little bit on the back side here. The ends. Well, that might be all we need to do. That is really pretty. I mean, compared to this side, this side has no stain on it. There you go. Boom. Much prettier, still natural wood, raw wood colors. So it took a little bit off, let it dry, let it dry and come back. See how that goes. We turn this up. Yeah, there you go. There's the part that hasn't been done yet. There's a the part that is done, much more vivid, 
back looking like uh, the pieces we started with that had the varnish on them. But now, now this is a this may be a sealer of sorts, but it's not really a varnish, so I'm not sure what to entirely expect from it. I'm just going to let it hang out here for a while, and we'll come check on it. See what these instructions say and how far to let it sit. We'll check on it in a little bit. All right. Well, I like what happened, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a coat on this other side. Let you guys follow along with that. It says don't put it directly, don't don't pour it on the wood, so we're trying to avoid that. But you got to get a little bit in these edges here.
Well, those look really good. Let them dry a little bit. Now the direction said to take a dry towel and buff them dry. I'm not really sure that I want to do that, but just, just for giggles, let's do that here. Well, they look really good. Maybe we'll just leave it natural. With all that natural grain showing. It is gorgeous with that walnut stain on it. It is, uh, it has got some level of sealer in it, but I don't know how hard of a sealer that is, but it's, it's working pretty good. It looks dry right there, don't it? Yeah, we'll let this dry and come back and check it tomorrow. See if we need to give another coat to it. The bottom's looking really good. Let's see. We'll let it dry. We'll let that dry. We'll check it out tomorrow and uh, see if we need to dress it up a little bit. I think I might have to, uh, might give it a just a light sand. It says about a 400 grit maybe if the grain uh, is standing and needs to be laid down. Like I've gotten a feeling that it looks like it's trying to stand up. But, uh, We'll take a look at it tomorrow after it's had overnight to cure and dry, and we'll see what happens. We'll go back at it. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, Papa fix it's working on these floating shelves. We were staining them yesterday. Uh, I just put the second coat on. This is the last coat we're going to put on. I just wanted to give you an update. They are finished except for the install. I'll do a little video about the install in a few days, but let me show you how they turned out. Got a nice uh, oily sheen. It's it's a, it's an oil-based stain, but it's not um, it's not a high varnish, which is nice. It, but it did leave it with a little bit of a satin sheen. You can see the sun kind of picking that up. But look at the color. You know these were these were just blonde, blonde, blonde. But the the walnut picked up all these little dark specks, and it's just beautiful. The, the grain just turned out great. The whole shelf, let me get it from over here. It just turned out really good looking. Um, there's actually some pretty cool wavy grain 
right here you see there's you can see the hint of it and it really catches the light when it hits it at an angle which is kind of a shame because this may end up being in a bathroom and nobody ever see that but you see all that wavy grain it's really cool but it's got uh it just picked up the walnut stain so good so happy with how they turned out they're still drying but this is what they're going to look like they need to air out for about a day but with the bark on the front they have a really nice you know kind of live edge design and yeah the grain doesn't match 100 percent but that's okay what's not I didn't expect that. I did try to get it close here and, and it looks pretty good. You know, that's a joint. Yeah. But see, that live edge with all the bark showing all the way down. Looks really good. I'm really thrilled with how they turned out. We'll have them hanging in a couple of days. You can see the mounting uh, system here on the back. So the, the rods that will go in the wall will go right in there. And I showed you before, we got the set screws down there that'll, that'll lock into the rods. Same system over here. Got four holes. Looks really good. I'm just happy with how everything turned out. Bottom to top. They just look fantastic. Anyways, so thanks for watching my adventure. And, you know, if you like them at all, share them with somebody. Click the like and subscribe. Uh, I'm, I, I'm always into something. If it isn't hanging shelves, I'll be doing something else. But uh, we'll come back with the part four, and I'll show you how to mount these things when we get to the house. Have a great day.